Hey everyone, so Elon Musk was recently asked about his stance on Israel and what he thinks should be the next step going forward. Check out his response and we'll talk about it. Definitely one of the toughest regions to, you know, like how do you, what, what, you know, what, what set of actions result in the greater good in, 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 uh, in Israel? I mean, obviously you, you obviously you cannot have people who, you know, if, if they want to slaughter everyone in Israel, you, you, you got to stop that. There's no, you know, there's no way. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, those people either need to be that they, they killed or, or incarcerated, or they will simply try to kill more Israelis. This is what, what it amounts to, obviously. And they want to kill Americans too, by the way. Um, you know, it, it generally, like Israel is, is referred to as the little Satan in America. We are the big Satan. Uh, that, that's what the Ayatollah calls us. So, you know, so I think, um, you know, I, I, I think w w a lot of what's happening there is uh, people are being taught to hate, uh, you know, in, in Gaza from when they're like kid children, they're taught to hate. Um, and that, that's really the thing that, that, that needs to stop for there to be, uh, you know, long-term long -term peace, hopefully, is that you, you, you just cannot have the kids be taught to hate from the moment they can talk. Uh, that, that's fundamental. So, yeah. So, you know, so I, I think there's, 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 it's kind of a three-step process, process there, which is, you, you, I've mentioned one has to do the difficult thing, which is to, <laughs> yes, eliminate a moss, exactly. Um, and then, um, so, and then, the, the you know, any, I think also going going forward, anyone who's teaching hatred in the in Gaza or elsewhere, you know, they, they need to stop doing that. That that can't be acceptable. We, and we have to stop. Yeah, people, you know, kids being taught to hate America in in, in America. So. And, and then, the, then the, th the third thing that's also very important is that there has to be economic prosperity in Gaza. So this is very difficult. It's like how, how do you sort of, you know, after terrible things have been done, you, you, you then have to sort of, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to bring prosperity to Gaza. You know, and, and, and that's, that's the thing that will ensure, provided kids are not taught to hate and there's long-term prosperity, I think there will be peace in Gaza. And we, we see an example of that after World War II, uh, where with Germany and Japan, uh, you know, they, they were defeated. They did yeah, obviously terrible things, uh, but changed the education system. And unlike World War I, we helped rebuild Japan and Germany. The Marshall Plan. Instead of exacting vengeance, America insisted we're going to help rebuild Germany. We're going to help rebuild Japan. And now they are allies. And there's been no war ever since. Eighteen years ago, Israel withdrew from the Gaza Strip. And quickly thereafter, Hamas was elected the governing authority over that particular area. And imagine a child who is 18, and, 18 or, or younger uh, and has grown up his entire life under the auspices of Hamas, where his even children's programming is geared towards hating, killing Jews, Israelis, America. It's it's a completely hate-filled education, recreation, uh, everything. Everything, the child's whole uh, bearings of the world are are about hate and killing, and and it's 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 very sad. It's very sad. But the what what Elon Musk suggests over here is absolutely true. The education system, the, what children are being taught, what people are being taught over there. That itself has to be uprooted. If, you, if your person is educated in, in one way and their whole worldview is shaped in a certain way, well, it's, it's no surprise that they act in a certain way. So that's one thing. The education system has to be completely uprooted. And I, I agree that that uh, what, what Elon Musk suggested also about economic prosperity will also do 
well for the region as well. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is, once Israel withdrew from the Gaza, that particular area was a good piece of real estate that could have been could have been transformed. Uh, people say into a place like the new Singapore, the Singapore of the Middle East. It's a great area. It's right on the Mediterranean, and um, it, it could have really it could have really had a wonderful uh, life and area for for people to live on. Unfortunately, all the money that came in in, in support was used to facilitate terrorism and terror tunnels. And uh, obviously all of that has to be uprooted and has to be started fresh. Doesn't mean to just wipe out the whole area, obviously, but the IDF needs to systematically destroy Hamas, let the people be free from Hamas, and then start from the ground up as far as restructuring what's going to go into that particular region.